Quotient rule of exponents. Excellent. The question is, what's x to the a divided by x to the b? Here we see that we have the same base and we're dividing. So what do we do to their exponents? Let's explore that in this small example. Yeah, this is our web breakdown. Ready, 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 ready. If we were going to line them out, this is 2 to the 3. That's 2 times 2 times 2 three times. And then down there, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 five times. And then if I... Uh, 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 oh. And after the dust settles, I put a flag where that numerator used to be. Yeah, here we see this is going to be 1 over 2 times 2 over 4. Sure, that's what's going to happen. This would be equivalent to looking at this as, wait for it, 1 over 2 to the 2, because that's 2 squared. Anyways. What do we seize? We seize that we could have arrived to this condition by doing the following. Wow, this has just gone all messed up. It's sprawled out all over this board. So this is 2 to the it denominator. It's denominator from numerator. So I go and I say this is 2 to the 3 minus 5. But 3 minus 5 is 2 to the minus 2. And then last time we went through and we said if it has a negative and an exponent, it's having negative thoughts. So then that's 1 over 2 squared, which is what we see right there. Boom! I don't know what that is. Hmm. I was maybe a face? That's his eyeball? Am I in the next example? This property, oh wee, why does it have to be so complicated? Like girls wearing ties? No. I'm talking about this. Yes. This is x to the denominator from numerator. This is, this is, this is a minus b. When we have the same base and we're dividing. So now I'm down here. Yes. You're my boy, Blue. So wait a minute, do I have the same base? Yes. Am I dividing? Yes. So then I can subtract. Oh, yes. So this is r to the numerator, 5 minus the denominator. But here that minus is with a minus, so then this is going to be a minus 4. Sure. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. So then this is r to the way for it. 5 minus a minus 4 is 5 plus 4, which is 9. Nine. Yeah. Uh, that was our example. Let's get another one. Mm -hmm. Way for it. Way for it. So I subtract those exponents? No. Why not? They don't have the same base. This is just in case you're trying to use that proper T. You can't, so we shan't. What will you do? That 5 is to the minus 2, so it's having negative thoughts, so it's up there. Bam. And then that 4 to the minus 3. Tee hee, tee hee. So that's 4 to the 3rd, and finish him. Again, we're not using this quotient property of exponents because they don't have the same base, and that's 25. And then that's 64, sure. And then... <laughs> but wait, there's more. Do these have the same base? You're like, what? Oh, first, do you want to do this? Bam, bam. No! Never, ever, 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 ever. Never do this over a sum. That was my mind trick. Anyway, I cannot make it rain because that is a product. Oh boy. So wait, now that that's all been said, it's like the men in black were here. Just erase that idea from your thoughts. What do we have? I have hand to the minus third and I have hand to the minus four. Ten solo? No, no. <laughs> right, because these bases are the same, I can use this quotient property for exponents here, say. So I could write that base, A plus B. Mm-hmm. 
and then that's the minus 3 minus a minus 4 there, see? So then that's a minus 3 minus a minus 4. Sure. I'm almost done. Did you say wait for it in your head? Wait for it. Minus 3 minus another 4 is 1. A box and a flower. Whew, it's hot up here in my studio. Mm -hmm.